Now it's just pl stick plugged in. Uh, we found some available networks. I'm going to see what we can pull up here. I'm going to click onto this and see what we have in the area. Connect to available networks. And what do we have? Sorry about the video guys, but uh, the quality. What do we have here? Okay, I can get three networks right now. So we have, they're all unsecured. Not very good strength, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to prove to you that uh, the uh, actual strainer antenna or the antenna will work. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook that up now and uh, we'll see what happens. So now that I've plugged the dongle into the um, antenna or the strainer antenna, here's how many uh, networks we have available to us now. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven networks now available to us, um, which greatly increases our chance of picking up a signal and being able to do this. A lot of these uh, networks up here north uh, are usually unsecured because um, there's not too much chance of like uh, people hopping on your network, but um, it's good to have this antenna on just because um, y you never know when you're going to need the extra Wi-Fi connectivity if, if uh, one of the networks shut down. So this greatly increases it uh, at least two to three times of what you would need, and all for about nine dollars with all the components. Just to show you that. Um, we're not uh, fudging this thing. I'm going to show you the uh, the actual antenna itself. So there's the uh, the strainer antenna, the dongle in there. There's the wire, and actually the wire goes down right into the USB port. So there's no tricks, no no, no nothing. Like you can pick up uh, a powered USB antenna for about thirty thirty or so dollars, but uh, this one cost uh, merely nine, including the cord. And actually, well, if you include the dongle. Um, the, the dongle cost me nine dollars, so eighteen dollars for for this uh, this build, uh, including the strainer and the cord, the extension cord. But uh, I'm sure you can come up with uh, different ways to make this yourself a little bit cheaper. So until next time, this is Robert Studer uh, from SurvivalCentral.net. Thank you for watching. Be prepared, stay safe, and survive. Have a good night.